Hey everyone, so I want to focus um, this video on specifically aimed at lighting the vault. Um, now I'm in vault 81 right now, it's highly recommend you come here and kind of have a good look around and use it as a reference point, especially if you're trying to make a more traditional looking vault. Um, I know I initially was going to make the kind of wasteland a kind of more scavenged, broken down vault, but to be completely utterly honest, it was a little bit too boring in a lot of ways because it just ended up looking like the interior of my normal building. Um, so I've been trying... I'm going to try and model it a bit more on Vault 81, but the reason why we're here is because I wanted to highlight how we cannot actually make it look like this um, in more or less completely. Um, it's a pain in the ass that we can't, um, but basically we, I mean, if you've got mods, obviously there probably are mods that actually add a lot of things that Vault 81 does have. Um, but in terms of if you're playing vanilla or if you're on PS4, you're not going to be able to actually make it look like this, which is a shame. Um, the reason being is this vault, for starters, notice how dark it is, which I think is something easy to forget. It's actually really dark in here. Um, this is kind of lighting I actually like indoors, is this kind of contrast between hard shadows and then quite bright lights. Um, I find it makes the whole thing look a lot more dynamic. Um, but the way, especially the atrium, is lit up I heard that kid got is predominantly, right. more or less exclusively, Back again. by these we'll big-ass spotlights here. Now, we do have spotlights, um, but they're actually turrets. Um, and one, for starters, they're noisy as hell, which is just a pain in the ass. Um, but also, they move. Now, I did try in my other vault to actually put them on the walls, but to be honest, it's just so disorientating having these things sway back and forth. It makes you a little bit seasick. Um, obviously you can go for it if you want, it's completely up to you, but um, with me I decided against them. Uh, but alongside that, we're also missing some kind of room lighting vaults, um, oh, sorry, lights as well. These ones here we don't have, and you're going to notice that these ones here are the main ones that Bethesda have used to light up the interior rooms. The only lights we've actually been given are these style ones that we use to light up kind of edges of corridors, um, which is a an absolute royal pain in the ass. Again, see spotlights. Go for the side here. This is the spotlight again. I also think they're using a slight blue filter as well, because um, the light looks a little bit different the way it travels compared to ours. This is They've not used the lights they've used to light up Vault 81 are none of the lights, with the exception of the ones I said on the edge, um, that we actually have access to, which is a, 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 a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I, you know, to be honest, I know, to be utterly frank, I've never really been bothered by the fact, if I'm completely honest, never really bothered by the fact that we don't have mods, because um, I never use them. I w I've always been probably a PC player up until December last year when I got a PS4 and then got... Um, we don't have these fucking lights here, it's ridiculous. Um, but then I uh, started playing on I've console. And I never I actually use them very often. However, You're getting to be a regular with around here. building, and specifically the stuff that... Something as dynamic as this that actually changes the entire look of what you're doing. It is a pain, and I kind of wish I had mods so I could actually have access to the lighting. Hope you can see here, they've got a few of the ones we've used but not many I mean for example even these ones don't work properly um, which is a pain they don't actually light up I heard about what you did for our little lost at all don't know many who can do the same I go to here I find they have one more style of light Just, ah here we go these ones up, let's get a look at you we don't have these ones as well. So basically, if you look, the lights that they've used to actually light up Vault 81, we don't have access to at all, with the exception of these style here. And they only use them to light the edges. You see, these are edge lights. These are just to add a little bit more, but they don't actually even light up the area. These ones, with the exception of like that piece of we wall here, this bolts. whole area is actually lit up by that there. Um, so the reason why I'm kind of highlighting this is just to kind of like, just control expectations, I guess, in terms of what you can actually meal, achieve. But one thing I have made me realize while looking at this area is even though we can't make it look the same, it's fine. I'm going for a bit more of a kind of military bunker or kind of like survival bunker look. Um, but 
it's interesting just how dark it actually is. Right, now I'm going to go over to my vault now and just kind of talk you through what I've done. It's going to be a lot drearier than what you saw before, um, but bear with me because I'm going to explain the why and how of why I've done something. All right, let's just head over there. All right, so we're back at Vault 88. Now, before we actually go into kind of my main vault, again, it doesn't look very much different than what you saw before. It's just I've just been so obsessive with the lighting, it's unbelievable. Um, but, see, we do actually have a spotlight here. Um, it's such a pain. <laughs> Um, and you saw how powerful this light is. It, when it's really dark, you can really see the difference. If we just had access to those spotlights, we could actually light up the entirety of the vault in any way that you would like, because it, you could make it look really, really quite dynamic. Um, so we've got these ones here, but again, our, our one's much more like that one there. They just don't bloody work. Anyway, so my vault, basically, I've made it, it's really dreary and dark, but I like it and I'll explain the why of it. Um... Because I wanted to kind of focus on dynamic lighting. Now, first things first, um, the atrium is the one part that you're going to actually struggle lighting up. To those rooms are a piece of fucking piss. Track lights, yo. Use track lights, you're good to go. And then use these luminous lights here and your... If you want to light it like my style anyway. But the atrium is the most painful part. And I know a lot of you have been struggling with this. This is pretty much what I've been doing for the last few days. Um, this and procrastinating and playing the main game. So basically, and the decoration here is kind of filler decoration. I'd always recommend if you're struggling with lighting an area up, do a little bit of kind of cursory decoration because it gives you an idea of how it will look once you've put some effort in. Um, so with this, I've just literally slammed some boxes. It's kind of made sure that every area has some stuff going on. Now, the reason for this, again, is I, I wanted it to model that as it, you compare it to how it looked before. Um, it was a lot more lit up. And people were like, oh, yeah, I really like how lit up it is, but I didn't. Um, one, because it was way too bright. Um, I wanted a little bit more shadow going on. But also the fact is that I was using lights because I kind of didn't like my idea of making a bit more of a beaten up, you know, like the idea that the wasteland had to just kind of come in and they set up their own lights. It just kind of looked a bit lame. Like, it was just kind of an easy way out for me to do. So I kind of focused on trying to make something that looked a little bit cooler. Um, so that basically what I've gone and done is I've themed my lighting. Um, so I'm limiting myself to what lights I have actually allow myself to use. So I've used the track lights quite a lot to kind of just add a little bit more. But you see, they don't actually light up very much. A lot of my light comes from these ones here, which are the fluorescent lights. And I've placed those around in kind of key areas to kind of just light up areas a little bit. You may also notice as well that I've made use of these construction lights. Now the reason obviously, because the other ones obviously are lights that you would think would be, they're built into the vault, whereas these ones are separate. I actually quite like the idea of these. I like the idea that my vault dwellers actually have these stored in a storage cabinet somewhere and I've just placed them around on a kind of needs basis. Um, and they kind of stu suit, uh, suit the style of what I'm trying to achieve here. As I said, it is a lot darker. If I go to my canteen here, it looks a little bit better. Well, it looks a bit more, you kind of get it a little bit more when you're actually inside. Now, I have used these in some of my rooms, um, but I kind of trying to be quite cautious. Honestly, what I would rather do is have less light than have too much, because when it's lit up way too much, it tends to just look a little bit like an eyesore, and it just tends to it, it tends to make things look a little bit bland if you light them up way too strongly. Um, however, what I'm going to do, um, once I've actually started decorating, is then I'm going to use things like the track lights and actually move them around to actually highlight and draw your attention to certain areas of the vault. Now, rather than do it here, what I've got and done is, because um, I've got my home plate, and I'm going to go over there to kind of... I've done this before in a video before, but I wanted to kind of go back to it and actually kind of show you guys how you can actually use lighting to actually highlight certain areas and actually kind of give something a bit more character. Now this for me right now is basically my blank slate vault in the sense that I'm really happy with how this lighting looks and now when I start decorating and adding the detail I can then edit it a little bit, tweak things. 
Um, and I don't know if I might be repeating myself, I'm sorry I said, but basically I deliberately made my atrium smaller. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, still, whatever. I made my atrium smaller because, to quite to be frank, it was way too hard lighting it up when it was so big. Now, obviously, you can have a big atrium if you want. If you want to kind of light something kind of more like this, I'd recommend trying to kind of make it small because it's still quite big, but it's not like massive because when it's massive, you just end up having to have way too many lights in such a large area it's an absolute nightmare anyway let's go to home plate and i can show you what i mean in terms of using dynamic lighting to make things look quite cool right so we're at my home plate now i've shown this before this is actually um home plate 2.0 because the home plate i've got on my channel is actually from the old save that i ended up restarting again <laughs> let me just give you a quick tour so here's here it is oh very pretty and funky my bedroom, that's where I keep my stuffs, here's my desk where I play my games, and here's where I have my cereal and my jet and my perfectly preserved pie. Um, so as you can see, this is probably a better example because I struggled with a lot of the issues I'm having or had had with the vault in here when I first started. Um, for a start, as you may notice, like in this kind of really kind of compacted area that's inside an instanced area when it's inside for some reason the lighting is just a little bit too bright at times um a great example is you see how this ottoman is lit up there it's a little bit kind of too striking at first and it can be like whoa calm down um but as you can see we've just i've got loads of shadow in here loads like these parts here are just completely dark and again, see loads of shadow, even in here, which is arguably almost weirdly lit up more than over there. I've kept loads and loads and loads and loads of shadow um, because having the shadow highlights the detail because then you can use the lighting a bit more. I'm going to repeat this phrase. It's overused, but dynamically to actually kind of draw your attention. Like I love my absolutely fucking love my home plate. It's probably the most best decorated area I've ever done um, and the reason for that is because of the fact that I put a lot of effort into making sure that the whole area there's something interesting and I've done that through lighting not decoration like the whole reason this looks good is not the way it's decorated but the way it's lit up and the way that your eyes are drawn to certain areas okay my bedroom's a little bit more just warmer but here's an example see and this is probably a bit more how you would decorate the vault and the way I've just merged the different styles of lighting. I know this is not really maybe me of a building video, but I just kind of wanted to understand a bit more, show you guys a bit more of a light theory, I guess. Um, as you see right here, I've used the track lights to actually highlight certain areas, but then I've deliberately allowed it to have lots of darkness. Um, I hope you guys have found this helpful. Lighting is a weird one because it's it's a lot down to personal preference as well. Like I quite like cluttered rooms with lots of high contrast light with lots of shadows. That's actually how my bedroom looks. Um, whereas I know a lot of other people might like, you know, having the curtains open and, you know, just light streaming in, everything lit up really brightly. I, I, I don't like that. I prefer just kind of dingy because I'm, you know, an ex-goth. Um, <laughs> alright, I'm going to go back, now that I've done my lighting thing, I'm going to be decorating and kind of making um, the vault look a little bit more detailed. I'm also going to finish off. Freaking, I had to reload. And, uh, this is all full of jet, by the way, and loads of chems everywhere, and I had to bloody reload because I had to fuck up. Um, ah, anyway, so I'll get back to doing my stash again. Um, but yes, anyway... As always, follow me on Twitter. I'm really curious. I know I keep asking you guys to send me things about really curious, but generally, I actually legitimately am curious. Um, how you've lit your vault up. Because some people have done some really cool stuff um, with their vault in terms of how they've made it. I'm really curious, more so than maybe if you've made it look a bit more junkier, like, say, how I've done with Home Plate. But if you've managed to, how you've managed to make it look like a more traditional vault. Because I think that's where the real challenge lies. Um, is actually making your vault look a little bit more like a real vault because it's actually harder to do. Um, so yeah, definitely send me pictures, any videos, even if it's not your own, if you've seen any videos that you've seen on YouTube of other people's, I'd be kind of legitimately quite interested to see because chances are I'm still going to fine-tune my lighting. Anyway, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.